Hey everybody, this is Norm from the Board Game Museum, and we are going to be doing another interview today for the Board Game Gi Giant Show. And this is the show, of course, where we talk to uh, board game collectors. And today we have Ernie Smith on. Good to see you, Ernie. How are you today? Good to see you. I'm doing well. Where are you from? Are you from Cleveland? I see your shirt. Uh, Parma. Yep, yep. Little suburb of Cleveland, Parma. Actually, a large suburb, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, y'all hanging out okay with the pandemic thing going on? Yeah, yeah, we're uh, we're doing good. I got a wife, two kids, two daughters, and we're playing a lot of board games during all this. Yeah, yeah we're definitely watching a lot of TV here on our end. So we'll start with the first question. Uh, how many board games have you got? Uh, a little under two hundred. I think it's the last time I counted, was like one eighty-five. One hundred eighty-five. Yeah, I was just telling Ernie earlier, guys, um, I'm trying to trim down my collection uh, just because we've got so many games that we don't play. So I've probably gotten rid of about 100 myself. But I guess it's, it's you start collecting. Uh, sometimes you want to do quality over quantity. That's kind of, I guess, the phase that I'm in right now. That's what I've been doing. Yeah, just, I only get stuff that I'm really interested in. Mm -hmm. um, I, I started just collecting horror board games. Uh, that was years ago, uh -huh. and then I have two daughters. They're not really into the horror board games, so I started getting into other games, uh, and that's that led me to you know down a rabbit hole of getting you know finding all the, the websites and all the the uh, uh, YouTube channels. Yeah, and that's uh, just because of you. I probably picked up uh, I'd say about twenty five different games that. My wallet is not happy about. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could have an influence on <laughs> your uh, wallet, at least in some capacity. Uh, when did you actually start collecting games? Um, I probably started the uh, horror board games, oh, God, I'd say about 10, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I wasn't hardcore into it. I would just, if I saw something, I'd pick it up. Uh, honestly, I didn't know some of these even existed until, you know, the past couple of years. Yeah. Uh, but I would say the past uh, year, I really got into it. Uh-huh. How about, do you have any family memories at all for growing up? Yeah, growing up, growing up, my family always played board games. I had two sisters, uh, my mom and dad, we played uh, constantly. Me and my dad loved Monopoly. No one else would play against us. <laughs> uh, played Sorry a lot. Um, strangely enough, some of these games that I went out and hunted down were games that, like, I remember playing at Cousins, uh, you know, my uncle's house, that no one knew the name of, and I could just barely remember, like, a couple components, and I kind of liked the search, you know, like, to hunt the, these rare games down, um, because there's really nobody around here that you know, knows about them, so it's like right. me doing a lot of research. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Like you know, when you go thrifting for games, sometimes you see games that are worth quite a lot of money. It doesn't happen often, but like sometimes someone will just donate them. Like my friend Timothy found a Dark Tower game for a dollar that was in complete work and order, which was yeah, like, sure. oh man. <laughs> I, well, growing up, I had Dark Tower. Uh, my mom sold it at our garage sale for a dollar, actually. Oh wow. Uh, that, yeah, uh, still to this day, I'm always like, why? Did you sell <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh man. Well, that happens a lot. How about, um, what is this question I've got? Oh, that's it. Sorry, I was looking at my paper. Uh, do you, is there anything about vintage board games that you uh, particularly uh, like as opposed to some of the newer games out there? Well, I think everyone agrees that, like, more care went into them. Now I collect a lot of things. So I collect movie posters, stuff like that. And it's almost the same thing that uh, a long time ago, people cared about the little things, you know, movie posters were beautiful pieces of art. Same thing with these vintage games, a lot of care went into them. Now it just seems like, uh, you know, they're, they're more or less creating things that are going to end up at a garage sale or savers, and, you know, not even caring that, that they last or anything. Um, nothing beats the, the old components, uh, the old box art. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I mean, and I've told other people this, I mean, like some of the newer games, I guess they just, 
the presentation just seems kind of boring looking to me. And not to say it's not a great game. It's just I guess I'm so used to seeing some of the vintage games that are just so have such a wow factor. You know, like but, they'll have like a great game that every you know a lot of people really really like. But I just look at it and it's just like eh, you know. Like yeah, yeah. I do like I do like some of the kickstarters uh, out of the newer games where they actually, you know, uh, they'll they'll care about the box art and the components and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, those interest me sometimes on the newer games. Uh, but it's just it, some of these old games. I'm just amazed that you know they put that much uh, know-how and, and uh, uh, technical uh, prowess into some making some of these components. Oh my gosh! You yeah, know, like, like Voice of the Mummy, you know, Voice of the Mummy, and Seance, and uh, I had the Sonar Sub Battle game that I'm like I can't even believe that they would spend that much time to, to create a toy for a kid back then. Oh my gosh, I know. I, I, some of the games I look at, there's just so much detail in some of the components. It's just amazing to me. Well, would you like to show us your collection? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to just start over in the horror section because that's that's where I have probably some of my favorites. I'm going to grab the phone off of here. Okay. Haunted House. Um, yeah, Haunted House. That, that, was, that was probably the first one I really was hunting down forever. Uh, I do like uh, over finding games from overseas, like you know England and stuff. Those are those are just I love doing that because you never even heard of them over here. But this is uh, Escape from Frankenstein, obviously Voice of the Mummy and Seance. Ghost Train is kind of like the Disney. Uh, uh, they have a Disney game. I can't remember what it's called, but it's it's the it's the um, Haunted Mansion game. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Witch Witch, Mystic Skull. I'm going to go down here to my, my family currently is in love with mystery mansion. Oh yeah. Um, That's a cool game. Great. Great game. Uh, dark world, stuff like that. Omega virus. Oh yeah. Uh, green ghost. Another game that I, I took forever to search. Um, I got some newer games mixed in here as well. Yeah. I'm a big, we're a big clue fan. So I got the master detective. I got a couple other ones on the other shelves. Yeah. Superstition is a game that not many people know about or, or see, but it's a it's a great it has some great components on it. Superstition, um, yeah. Um, yeah, obviously Vampire Hunter, Mummy, and then then if you go over here, obviously you got the you know the Tornado Rex. Oh yeah, great probably, game. Yeah, it's probably my favorite game right now. Oh yeah, I love that game. Yeah, between you, Matt, and Bernardo, I most of these. Uh, games. I just picked up the ladder that Bernardo just did a a, a, a talk about it. And, oh yeah, uh, Our, that looked like a really interesting game. It, we played it last night. Really fun. And me and my youngest played. What did we play? We played up the ladder, lost gold, stuff your face, and uh, twelve teepees. And she's eight years old. Beat me in all four of them. Oh my gosh. Um. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah, that's about. I, I will point this out. My my wife made me hunt this down. Uh, Girl Talk uh, Dateline. We haven't played that yet. I need a Girl get Talk there. Dateline. I've never heard of that uh, one. I obviously. I, yeah, I have no clue how it is. She just remembers it from uh, her youth. Uh, I will play it though. I'm sure I will lose in that as well. <laughs> um, but another good thing, all these games, besides I have Ice Cube down here, and I'm missing the tray, which everyone, I think, is missing the tray. Um, everything else is complete. Man, Ice Cube, and, now that's, a, that's, a, that's one of those games that they sell for just ridiculous amounts of money. And uh, I don't I, quite know why. I guess it's just rare. Yeah, it's just rare. You know, I, uh, I got it really cheap, hoping that one day I'll find that tray. Uh, I've seen people three D print it, so maybe I will do oh, that. Yeah. Um, but other than that, everything's complete. Yeah, I got a few three D pieces before, like for Forbidden Bridge. I was missing some of the rails, and uh, I was able to get it done like for basically nothing. And you just paint, yeah you know, put primer on it, and it looks you wouldn't be able to tell the difference really. So 
Thank that, God for that. I'm hunting down. I am hunting down Forbidden Bridge. That's probably my next one I'll probably pick up. That looks great. Oh, that's yeah, that's a fun game. Um, are there any other games you're looking for? Uh, man, I think Forbidden Bridge is the one. No, Ice Cube was the last one I was trying to pick up cheap. I'm not... To be honest, I don't think there's any. There's no other horror games I'm looking for. I was looking for a game called Horror House. Yeah, uh, hard game to find. It's actually in. The, it's been in the mail for about a month, coming from England. Uh, so I, I finally, that was probably the one I've been searching for for about a year. Wow. And uh, so I finally picked that up. So I'm excited to get that. It, it's funny. I got. Uh, the, the Escape from Frankenstein and a game called Mad Lab, all, they all about all three at the same time. They all took, you know, two months, you know, a month and a half to get. Wow. Well, good job getting those games, man. Some of those games are tough to get. Oh, my gosh. The ones from yeah. England are hard. I know, uh, was it Lost Valley of the Dinosaurs? I've heard rave reviews about that game, but not easy to find. <laughs> I, I actually, I have two, I have two copies. I found one at Savers for two two ninety nine. Wow! Um, so I was able to put together a complete. So my I have a second incomplete copy, um, but I, I I was you know walking through there, looking at the it, it spotted corner of my eye instantly. You know it's just a big green beat up box, hmm. and I'm like oh my god I got to grab this. Yeah man. Uh, but <laughs> I was happy because I I knew I was only missing a couple pieces. Yeah. Yeah, that's great, Ernie. Well, I man, I'm, I hope you have a great day today, and thanks so much for showing mm -hmm. off your collection. And, um, guys, uh, if any of you want to do an interview with me, just feel free to let me know in the comments. Thanks so much.